All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Council Member Rafael Salamanca. I'm the chair of this committee. I would like to welcome my colleagues to today's hearing. Today we have present Council Member Gibson, Barron, Constantinides, Levin, Miller, Reynoso, Richards, Traeger, Gredenchik, Chair Adams, Diaz, Chair Moya, and Rivera. I would like to thank Chair Moya, Chair Adams, and Chair Kalos for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will be voting on an application referred out of our la landmark subcommittee. We will be voting to approve LUs 151, the Landmark Preservation Commission's designation of the Central Harlem West 130th to 132nd Street Historic District. The historic district cons consists of approximately 164 properties, primarily row houses located on West 130th, West 131st, and West 132nd Street between Le Lenox and 7th Avenues. As a microcosm of the African-American experience in Greater Harlem, the district is not only significant for its contributions to the social and political history of the immediate area, but to the nation as a whole. It has been home to an impressive variety of cultural, religious, civic, and political organizations, including the new Amsterdam Musical Association, which is the oldest African-American musical association in the United States the Alpha Physical Culture Club, the first all-black athletic club in the country, and the planning headquarters for the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963. This historic district is in Council Member Perkins's district. On September 17th, the Landmark Subcommittee voted to modify the designation to exclude a parking garage located on the 161st to 165th West, 132nd Street. However, since the Landmark Subcommittee vote, we have a we have had a number of discussions with members of the community and the council member. I would like to turn it over to the chair of the Landmark Subcommittee to speak on the discussions that have taken place since that vote. I would like to recognize Chair Adams. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. On August 17th, the Landmark Subcommittee held a public hearing on LU 151, the designation of the Central Harlem Historic District. At that hearing, we received a lot of testimony in support of the historic district broadly, and also testimony that 161 through 165 West 132nd Street should be carved out from the historic district. The building in question is a four-story parking garage in a district that is principally residential row houses and apartment buildings. We heard concerns that rather than include a parking garage in a historic district, this property would serve a better use if redeveloped, which we understood would likely require council review because the site is very close to its maximum allowable floor area ratio, or FAR. The committee also heard testimony from community members and historic preservation groups urging us to affirm LPC's designation without modification. After the hearing, the committee received many calls from constituents on both sides of the issue. Ultimately, the landmark subcommittee looks to the council member representing the affected district for guidance in such matters. At the time of the landmark subcommittee vote on September 17th, we voted to remove the garage for the reasons I described above. Since that vote, Council Member Perkins has strongly expressed his opposition to modifying the designation and asked that we maintain the boundaries as the Landmarks Commission recommended. The designation of this district is something that the community, Council Member Perkins, and the LPC staff have been working on for a number of years. I want to personally acknowledge and credit the hard work of numerous stakeholders in Harlem for making their voices heard over many, many years. To the residing community of the 9th District, I say thank you for your passionate perseverance in this matter. My colleagues and I welcome the opportunity to get it right. And with that, I will proudly vote to support your efforts to maintain the boundaries of the entire Central Harlem Historic District. Thank you, uh, Chair Adams. Uh, I would like to recognize Council Member Perkins. Uh, thank you very much. I um, want to uh, enthusiastically support the Central Harlem Historic District located in the mid blocks of West 130th, West 131st, West 132nd Streets between Malcolm X Boulevard, AKA Lenox Avenue, and 7th Avenue in Manhattan. I also believe emphatically however, that the commercial garage at 161 West 132nd Street, built in 1910, 
should be included in this landmark district designation. The proposed district also exhibits high architectural merit. The proposed district's largely intact group of late 19th century buildings tells the story of Harlem's speculative building boom with row houses built primarily in the neo-Greco style and including work from architects such as Cleverdon and Putzel, Charles Baxter and William J. Merritt. This primarily row house district has a cultural significance that for me and many of my constituents is deeply felt. It is a remarkable reminder of the powerful role that the African American community of Harlem played in creating political and social change in New York City and the nation. Figures such as Jacob Lawrence, Romare Bearden, and Bayard Rustin lived and worked in the area. The, New York, the national headquarters of the 1963 march on Washington for jobs and freedom was located here. I respect and work with the preservation community in many areas, including the city, more beautiful and keeping its character and enthusiastically support the designation of the historic district as submitted by historic preservation advocates and the majority of the residents and homeowners in the area as referenced by the petition submitted. Sincerely, Councilmember Bill Perkins. No clapping, please. Thank you, Councilman Perkins. So uh, therefore, consistent with the request of council member representing the affected district, we will vote on the resolution to approve the designation of the historic district without modifications. A vote to approve is a vote to approve the LPC designation, including the parking garages. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? I just want to point out to, uh, to, the, to the committee and to uh, members and the council, you know, this committee in Lanyus wants to work with every individual members and we want to be supportive of your projects. But we need to know, you know, what are we going to be supportive of? Um, you know, the work that's being done in the subcommittees is important and it's important that projects in, in members' districts, that members are there and they inform the committee chairs and the members of the committee what exactly is their stance on these projects so that we can be supportive and move forward uh, you know, as, one, as one body. So with that, I would like to call for a vote to approve LU-151. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. Chair Salamanca. Aye on all. Gibson. Congratulations, Council Member Perkins, and congratulations, Harlem. I vote aye. Barron. Permission to explain my vote? Council Member Barron. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I just want to say that this is an example of the will of the people being expressed even though a vote had been taken in subcommittee and as the chair of the subcommittee indicated, this is an important issue. And we are pleased that we're able to be supportive of all of those persons who came and expressed their concern, as well as the wishes of the council member in that district, and I proudly vote aye. Constantinidis. Aye. Ku. I will aye, and I want to congratulate um, council member Perkins and our chair Samanaka for doing a great job. Thank you. Miller. Um, permission to explain my vote, please? Councilmember Miller to explain his vote. Thank you, uh, Chair Salamanca. Um, as uh, Chair Salamanca indicated uh, uh, in his uh, testimony that um, the testimony of the public, testimony of our colleagues are, are very important that we have access to all relevant information when we are voting on, on uh, such projects that are so vital to our communities. While certainly the preservation of Harlem and, and many other communities throughout our city is integral as we attempt to maintain the value of communities as they transition throughout the city. Uh, in this particular case here, however, um, the information that was delivered during our subcommittee vote obviously differs from what we are seeing here now, and I have not had the opportunity to digest that as of yet, so thus I'd be vote, abstaining on the vote. Reynoso. Richards. I'm going to abstain for the same reasons uh, Councilmember Miller uh, cited. Torres. I vote aye. 
Traeger. Gordenchik. Aye. Adams. I vote aye. Diaz. Aye. Moya. Aye. Rivera. Aye. By vote of 13 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and two abstentions, land use item has been approved by the committee. I would like to thank, I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for 10 minutes. Thank you.